those gray skies are back and it looks like clouds pretty much the rest of the week. I don't think we'll see very much sun. We might see a few holes in the clouds, maybe by Friday afternoon briefly, but even that looks like a long shot. So gray skies around at least through most of the weekend coming up with that. Oh, chances rain pop up here and there. I think uh, next our next decent round of rain could come tonight and at least through about noon on Thursday late tonight after midnight through about noon tomorrow. The better chance of more steady or more widespread rain. So not heavy, heavy rain, but you could add up a good half an inch to an inch of rain or a little more in spots tonight and tomorrow with some uh, slim chances of a little weak thunderstorm, but highs still mostly in the 70s tomorrow. If we do get enough rain, it may stay in the upper 60s for a while, but uh, another cool day tomorrow, but maybe a wetter day on Thursday. You can see a couple little showers popping up over the last few hours across the valley. This is the last three hours. Most of the rain staying offshore, but inland we've been tracking some small showers across mainly Dago County. If we zoom in, you can see the kind of the last round of these showers passing through Mission right now and near Gran Heno. But if we do a track on these, the rainfall rate in the heaviest area there is still only about a half an inch so or so per hour. So if that intensity stayed over you for an hour, you would get about a half an inch of rain. But it's moving along, so most places getting much less than that. But small little showers like this may pop up at times this evening, but could increase in number late tonight, especially as we head to after midnight and towards sunrise tomorrow. Right now it's 72 in Wessico, 74 in Harlingen, Raymondville and Brownsville and 75 in Rio Grande City. And temperatures most of this evening will kind of drop slowly through the 70s. There, we still have a cool north wind blowing, but there's not a lot of cold air there. Even we had a you know, we had a weak cold front move through the air behind it. Really not that much difference It's mainly the clouds that are keeping temperatures down. But 15 miles per hour, the wind speed in most of the lower valley, about 21 near the coast. These are the sustained winds without the gusts, but a little breezier near the coast. This evening temperatures falling through the upper 60s during the evening hours, but chances of showers you could say during most of the evening, probably holding at about 20%, but then begin to go up higher and higher by about midnight and later. So you could be seeing some steadier rains late tonight. If you look across South Texas, a couple of showers here and there, but nothing really widespread in the state. But there's a bit of a disturbance rolling in from the west that should generate more light to moderate rain at times tonight and tomorrow. The future track kind of shows this. Still shows by between 6 p.m. and midnight, maybe a couple showers moving in. But overnight, you see the rain starts to increase towards sunrise, so wouldn't be surprised to see a fairly wet morning tomorrow. Again, not heavy flooding rain, but kind of a steady light to moderate rain could be around most of the morning and midday hours, so that should be keeping temperatures down in the 60s, but could bounce back into the low 70s tomorrow if it, we do get a little drying. So I think the wettest part of the day is in the morning, but still maybe a few showers in the afternoon. Thursday is another day when it should stay cloudy all day. Probably not as wet or sorry, Friday's another day. It should stay cloudy all day, but probably not as wet as Thursday. Uh, a few showers may pop up from time to time, but the clouds will likely hold on most of the day. Maybe a few holes in the clouds late in the day. Friday night, still some clouds and maybe a little sprinkle or shower. And even Saturday, you see the clouds aren't going anywhere. You may see a couple of light rain showers, but it doesn't look like heavy rain on Saturday with highs still probably in the 70s. The rain chances 60% tomorrow. And again, the high point probably in the morning hours and the 40% on Friday and 30% on Saturday for some lighter rain showers around. So your first 1570 forecast. Well, you know what? I forgot to move that Veterans Day icon. <laughs> uh, take that Veterans Day icon, move it on Friday. That's that's where it belongs. But high temperatures stay uh, right there in the 70s. Veterans Day on Friday looking a little wet at times, but high is still in the 70s through the weekend. You may see the sun begin to break through at times either late Sunday or by Monday, but Probably not looking for another sunny, warm day until about next Tuesday or Wednesday. So highs back in the 80s by next Tuesday or Wednesday. But out of the next uh, four days or so, we do have rain chances each day, but not a lot of rain. I think tomorrow may be a yeah. steady rain, at least in the morning. Most other days, just kind of like today, where it's showers for 10 or 15 minutes, but right. mostly it's just kind of cloudy and this cool. This cooler weather is a welcome relief to a lot of people, including... Yeah. Yours truly. I don't hear the air conditioning running all the time at home. No, it's, I don't. It's, it's so comfortable now. Yeah, it is much more comfortable. Slept better, I think, last night. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Alan. Well.